the second press conference at Smithfield City Park. My main aims for the project are to give people the opportunity to learn an environment that's not a classroom environment and to learn without realising they're even learning just through enjoyment of being where they are. Um, I think the farms are really sort of valuable resource for people who find that they struggle within mainstream education for whatever reason. Um, and kind of my main overarching aim, what I'd really like is for all the young people that we work with to question more deeply the roots of things, such as asking where their food comes from, thinking about what came before the food that, that is sitting on their plate. <laughs> Remember them? Yeah, cool. Oh. Someone else just mentioned, what did we just need just now when, when it was really Listen. sunny? Yeah. Yeah. We need... <laughs> so all the, the, the three groups we've been working with have been coming in once a week for a session spanning the whole of the summer term. And each session has been on a different topic. And all the topics are related to things that we do at the farm. So we've had three different sessions to do with animals. One of them was thinking about different sorts of farming, so intensive farming, like battery chickens, and organic farming, and thinking about the pluses and the minuses to both sides. The other animal session we've had is looking at animal produce and what animals give to us, what they provide us, from meat to cheese to wool that we wear to leather. We've also been learning about how plants grow. Um, we've been planting seeds, watching them grow. We've been putting bulbs in the earth, watching them grow. And we've been harvesting vegetables and cooking them. So this is thanks to you guys. And this is going to feed us, isn't it? I don't know which one you all want specifically. We've also done something called street training, which is about going out into the streets around us and working out how we can have a positive experience within our within the streets so um, and about how to how to enjoy nature within the world around us we've also been learning about how to be a good eco citizen so about how our actions affect the animals at the farm people in our community and the world around us generally being outside learn from it so rather than sitting in a classroom you're outside you're planting and you're learning science and you're learning about citizenship and you're learning about geography and you're doing literacy because you're writing poems about how beautiful the flowers are that you're that you're working with um, so I see that this is a really really valuable resource for learning outside the classroom <coughs> Watch Olivia because she's done no this before. So look, can you see she's taken two? Time. Yeah. Watch this because this is. Yeah. Oh yeah, I done it. Uh, the project at Spitalfields Farm has really been the highlight of our summer term. Um, it's been a unique experience for the children, for the children that have such an urban life, to come and see. Uh, to, to be touching animals and, and seeing them every week and planting things and watching them grow um, has been fantastic. And the staff and the volunteers at the farm um, have been very um, attentive and patient with the children and they've, the children have really benefited from all that um, positive attention. Um, we all go back to school every Friday um, 
completely relaxed, chilled out, and ready for the weekend. My name is Buffy, and I'm 12 years old. I like taking care of animals. What have you learnt about plants today? Uh, how to look after, uh, uh, put in all the soil. Good. And um, what three things do plants need? Do you remember what things plants need? Uh, sun, uh, water and soil. Very good. I think they've really basked in all the attention and the chance to do things um, because in secondary school, we're always in a rush. You know, we get to a history lesson and you've got to listen and then you've got to write and, and then you've got to talk and then it bell rings and you go somewhere else. And at the farm, we've really been able to take our time and it's really suited these pupils. And yeah, you can see a few of them have really blossomed in how they're able to express themselves. They can't wait to come back to Spitalfields Farm. <music>